Dungeons and Daddies is a rowdy, horny, violent podcast for grown-ups. Content warnings can be found in the episode description. All right, welcome back to Sizzler's Teen Voices Open Mic Night. Yep, yep. Next up, we have Ter... I, oh, it says Scary? Scary Marlowe. Okay. Um, performing an original poem. Let's give it up for Scary. Come on. Um, this is a poem about something that happened to me recently. Uh, it's very personal, and it's called Imposter Syndrome. Okay. Yes. There is a darkness inside me blacker than my mascara. Mean like a dog when a dog is mean. I mean, nobody understands me. Recently, the feeling of being frozen in place while a tourist lives your life goes by your name. Oh, the pain of an entity so odious it makes my disposition disappear behind that of a monster's countenance. But count on this, I will not be a pod person. I will escape this odd prison of goo and slime, of prickly tentacles plugged into my skin, the pulsing din of a doodler creature taking over my life and wearing my face. As for my friends, may they swallow zit juice, drink their own puke, to find the truth within. The scary they call their friend is nothing more than an imposter. A fucking imposter! The end. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, next up is Hermie the Unworthy performing, oh, not an original here, everybody. He's performing the classic AMC theaters monologue as made famous by our sweetheart, Dame Nicole Kidman. <laughs> Welcome to Dungeons and Daddies, not a BDSM podcast. Instead, a D and D podcast about four. Oh, it's a D and D. <laughs> God, shit, no! You don't get to do that. You don't get to do that. You don't respect Will's, our that's listeners. Will's well, shtick though is he interrupts you. It's cute. This is a D and D podcast about four teens from our world. Oh, they're yeah. four. All right, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> and our world's been changed because their grandfathers fucked it up. Just like real life. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, boomers. Thanks, the greatest generation. My name is Freddie Wong. <laughs> well, in this show, we're the generation. We're the greatest up. generation yeah. in this show. Finally. We're the ones who fuck it up. That's true. You're right. Yeah. My name is Freddie Wong. I play Taylor Swift, the anime-loving survivalist ranger teen of the group. Uh, this week's dad <laughs> you do a little sword sound effect? That's yeah. cool. I like that. Yeah. That could be your thing. Sword sound effects? What if every time I rolled the dice, it was like, shing. That'd like be cool. Cool sword sound effects. Sure. No. <laughs> Did I tell you one day? I'm I, on my phone when I said that, too. I'm like, no. I was about to say that. It's really perfected the image. I'm trying to level up, and I'm just now. Taylor's rad fact for this week. Taylor plays the spy in TF2. <laughs> He's a spy main. I'm okay. TF2. Oh, is TF2 still around? We're still around. The hat economy eventually displaced the NFT attempts in the early 21st century. They went back to hats. They went back, they went to, back, hats. back to TF2 hats. They're like, we had it right all along. That's right. Yep. Love it. What's TF? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's like that scene in The Matrix where they're underneath the bridge and he opens the door and it's like, you know that road. You know where it leads. <laughs> <laughs> And so once again, Beth stays in the car. <laughs> hey, everybody. My name is Matthew Arnold. I play Lincoln Lee Wilson, a schooled at home soccer kid who's the protective paladin of the group. <laughs> Look, Link's a, Link's a simple boy, so it's not going to be a complicated fact. I'm going to start the five week process of his favorite no! senses. It's so nice to just to know what I'm doing next week. So this week, I'm just going to do smell, and it's just freshly cut lawn. It's a nice, you freshly like cut lawn smell. Lawn. I guess it's the lawns. soccer smell. It's a, too, great, it's a great soccer field. It's a job well done, honestly, because like usually him and his time. dads do the lawn together. And it's just, you know, it's family, it's soccer, it's everything he loves. Aww, what do you very... want? He's not a complicated person. He likes soccer and family. All right? I'm just Stop a looking at me, Will. Sorry, my fact dad, wasn't enough for you, time. Will. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's been a long time since I've smelled freshly cut grass, I got to say, and I do miss I it. I don't really I like it. it. I don't either. It smells like hot dogs. I'm fucked up. I always think of hot dogs when I smell freshly cut. Hey, everyone. I'm Matt Mercer. I, uh, oh my! <laughs> I smell hot dogs. I smell hot dogs. Hey everyone, I'm Will Campos. I play normal, normally Oak, the mixed up mascot who doesn't know who he is anymore. For this week's normal fact, I wanted to dig a little deeper on Normal's full name. 
A lot of people online are like, oh, is normal Lee, like is Lee something like Re, like how Re means you're from Oakvale and C means from you're the suburbs outside of mm. Oakvale. So yes, Lee means you are a descendant of someone from Oakvale, which is why normal's full name is normally Lee Oak Swallows Garcia. So wait, is Link from like Oakvale? <laughs> no, mine's Lee, like because Marco's last name, L-I, is Lee. Okay. Wait, it's different Lee Lee's. and Sorry, Marco. Hold oh, no, on, not. Why Sorry. Well, one more time. It's normally Lee Oak Swallows Garcia. Jennifer Jason Lee is also from Oakvale. Jennifer oh, Jason. <laughs> I like that Damn. canon. That's good. Hi, I'm Beth May, and I play Scary Marlo. <laughs> She's back. I'm. <laughs> oh shit. Oh my god! Have you ever scared I... somebody so bad that they like got COVID? <laughs> <laughs> no, I swallowed. Fred doesn't have hiccups anymore. Into my. <laughs> <laughs> into my gloves. I gasped too hard. What a way to die. That would wow. be. Holy shit. That's how I want to go. Uh, fun fact about... Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. Oh, I, oh, no! <laughs> you buffoon! Leave the, the room! room. It's disgusting! Oh, okay. Leave the room. Beth needs to give a fact. Get out of here. No, no, I have a straw. Stay away from your I microphone. Who gives a shit about your straw? You're like, getting, cl straw. You're like getting closer There's when you're no coughing. <laughs> <laughs> he just <laughs> ran into the kitchen and... <laughs> Tripped on a cord and hit his fucking run. foot. This isn't a live show. Uh, you can edit this. He didn't even trip on a cord. He didn't. Out. What are I you think doing? that we should cut it out. I don't even think it's Freddy's, that funny. Freddie's walking back with a glass and <laughs> he bought this forty dollar hiccup straw that he tried to show me last time and it did not work. <laughs> okay, okay. It's my what? favorite thing that's ever happened. Is it I have a hiccup straw? straw? <laughs> so this straw was invented by a doctor to cure hiccups. So you have to just <laughs> suck water through I, it. Wow. Right, here we go. Okay. Oh. Last time he did this, he hiccuped five seconds afterwards. I'm it worked. Take, all right, hey, I'm Beth May. <laughs> hey, Beth. And I play Scary Marlo. <laughs> God. How much money would you give to make Freddy cough in it right now and hiccup for another hour? A goth punk seeker of darkness who is not like the other warlocks or like any of the other people that are around her. Because fun fact about Scary this week is that last week she was doodlerized. <laughs> so she's not how she is. Is that a cheap dad fact, teen fact, rad fact? Maybe. It's Maybe. fine. We're going to do the whole hiccup thing. So that, that time <laughs> yeah. that, that time is already spent. Hi, I'm Anthony Birch. I'm your dad. So this week, uh, I'm going to do the first ever recommendation of a piece of media to consume, a Wreck Me Daddy of season two. Ooh, oh, wow. Wreck me, please. If you're not familiar with what we did in season one, I think twice, maybe in three <laughs> years, I recommended something that I think people should watch. And today I'm going to recommend a movie called Echa, E-E-C-H-A. Don't Google it yet. What you want to do is you want to go to YouTube and you're going to prepare yourself for the fact that after the first thumbnail, you're going to see a bunch of spoilers. So just like narrow those eyes, just kind of squint and get them all, get them all blurry and then type in E-E-C-H-A into YouTube. It's a $5 rental. Don't look up anything about it. It is directed by the same guy who directed RRR, which is on Netflix, <gasps> which you should have already oh, watched. Depending on where you are also, it could also be EGA. E -E yeah, it could be E-E-G-A. Um, at that point, you'll probably know what the movie's about. But even once you know the premise, it's still a great movie. The first 20 minutes, you're going to be like, this has some bad gender politics. I know. Stick with it. It's fucking great. <laughs> Stay with Stay. us. Stay. <laughs> So when we last left the group, you were attempting to figure out who had been doodlerized by a secret sort of the thing-esque doodler creature that could mimic any one of you. And you voted twice incorrectly to identify the doodler creature. And the third time you correctly identified Scary Marlo. That I'm meant pretty it's sure it's Matt still. I <laughs> <laughs> so am I, yeah. <laughs> That's the long game, everybody. So that means also, one of, we did it on the third try. It's about the same percentage success rate as probably like a monkey, right? That's like... It's, it's not guessing, like, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's, yeah. there's we, only we five people, so... <laughs> yeah, and it took you the majority of the guesses, so yeah. I would love like an episode of the podcast that was just us replaced by monkeys. <laughs> so that means that everyone who's not scary got one level up, and everyone who is scary got two levels up. I did. <laughs> so that brings us to level three, for those of you keeping track. What's Scary's level now? I'm level seven. seven. Boo! Ooh. No, yeah. yeah, she's our leader, I thought. So. Well, she is now. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so it's the point of order. She wasn't doodlerized. It wasn't like the body no, of like scary the oh, yeah. like split in half or what Anthony said. To, so just to clarify, it's like yes. scary somewhere. Scary is somewhere. It was okay. it was communicated to you by Terry Jr. that the way this thing probably works is that it is like the invasion of the body snatchers where you have to have a pod of a person and the pod is like giving the fucking data to the 
alien that can then like mimic them. So okay. somewhere, Scary is alive, sentient, and remembers everything that happened to her pod person duplicate. And having the time of her life. <laughs> so yeah. Playing TF2 probably. Probably playing TF2. <laughs> probably, she loves it. yeah. Okay. What do you think two is her favorite TF2 uh, character to play, Beth? <laughs> Beth, what do you think about two four? TF2, probably like... Uh, Tony Hawk. <laughs> <laughs> Bucky Lasik, Fuck, maybe. That's, that'd be really good. <laughs> be okay, really good. so Probably without any Bucky further ado, Lasik. Scary had said that she is not like other girls. She had turned into a gelatinous mass of tentacles and mucus. Ah! <laughs> Since you correctly got her out, you can take one action before she takes an action. So <gasps> any one thing that any one of you would like to do. Oh, let's see what level three got me. Are you playing essentially this version of me? I will determine what it does, but okay. you will say stuff as okay. that thing. It's like the improv game where someone sticks your arms and they're your arms. Oh, I love that. You know what I mean? They're behind you and you're I mean, the arms. I love watching yes, that. You are Ryan Styles. I have You've never done it? Three. It's no. exhilarating. <laughs> no it's, the, it's the most intimate I've ever been with another person. That's actually how Matt and I wrote video games. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm going to instinctively draw my katana and like make an attack, but. I have now, as a ranger, I've chosen my subclass, which is Ooh. a plane walker, or I think it's a horizon walker, or something like that. So it allows me to. <laughs> yeah, those two words are really planar close. Planar warrior, planar warrior. <laughs> okay. Horizon as a bonus warrior. action, choose one creature you see within 30 feet. The next time I hit that creature on this turn with a weapon, all damage dealt by the attack becomes force damage, and the creature takes an extra 1d8 force damage. What is force damage? I don't know. Anthony, what is force damage? DM is the guy who What's knows. What's force damage, Daddy? It's just a it's a type of damage like any other that certain creatures are more susceptible to. It's done by the forest from Star Wars. Mm. Oh. So there. It's what Beth said. I've channeled the force like Luke Skywalker <laughs> in Star Wars. Yep, that's exactly what this is. Uh -huh. And then I make a strike. Okay, go ahead and roll an attack. Roll... Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to roll. My new Dungeons and Daddies branded Odyssey Son dice experience. Ooh. It may not be out yet. We just got the prototypes. We're doing dice. By the way, check out our store, store.dungeonsanddaddies.com. There's a bunch of new stuff for Father's Day, and dice will be there soon. I'm going to roll my official dice. This is the first time an official roll. This D20 has a Honda Odyssey. Oh, my God. I threw it outside of the box. 11. It was too plus three. 11? And I've been rolling 11s nonstop. 11 plus 3, 14. Describe to me why you missed. I don't know how that could describe that. You okay, know? so you so you slice forward. <laughs> it's not like I'm a performer you, on a yeah. Dungeons and Dragons podcast. Well, no, he can do anything as long as it makes him sound cooler. He's, he refuses to do anything that makes him I sound don't incompetent. Know how to describe missing my weapon. Yeah. Oh, no, here's what I, I would do. never do. Here's that, what I do. Though. I go for the draw, and as I like rush forward, I like draw, but I don't grip my sword like hard enough. So my hand just goes. Ah, there you go. And the sword's See? still in because okay. it's, uh, it's it's stuck in my scabbard. But everybody else is so used to you doing stuff really quickly. They're like, "Oh my god, did he do it? Did he like <laughs> cut him? In, did he cut him into three pieces?" And then we're gonna pause. He's gonna fall over, and everybody like takes a well, breath. Well, so here's what I do: is I immediately return my <laughs> hand to the sword to make it look like that. Like I did that thing where you go Shh, and you, know, you quickly draw yeah. it back in, and then I still hold the pose. But if you look closely, I'm sweating. Roll, roll <laughs> deception for the monster. Yeah, I want to roll to perception. I know he missed. <laughs> yeah, everybody, roll perception to see okay. if he completely whiffed okay. or not. <laughs> I got a three, so Scary Doodle is like, oh, oh my god, did he, did he, did he do it? Did he, did he I got eighteen plus two, so I got twenty. So you I, know, I look over, I look over at Link, and I'm like, don't you fucking do it? Yeah, I, I got just, a nineteen, I give, so I know. Oh yeah, I just give you like a, hey man, everybody I, messes up. So I cross like, my <laughs> eyes, so I'm looking at both of them at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should tell Scary that you don't know how to use your sword. Okay, so as you do that, the Scary Doodler convinced that you've just wounded it irreversibly in some way that it will figure out later, like it thinks you did the five-point bomb exploding heart technique or something. Raises itself up really tall and vertical, and you see tendrils of like the mucus that holds it together, kind of like stretching and snapping, kind of like when that head detaches from the body and the thing. And then it goes, uh, yeah. and it dives down into the ground, and it hits the ground with its head as hard as it can, and it burrows down underneath the pavement. Because you're outside. And it's there all winter. Aw. Oh, <laughs> you did it. It begins. Well, no, Taylor, it, you got it. And then it begins to start moving. And you see, not unlike Bugs Bunny, <laughs> a, Bugs Bunny <laughs> was just gonna, like, a pump in the ground as it speeds across the school really, really quickly. You boys would know a lot about hump in the ground, right? Who told you about that? <laughs> <laughs> and it starts heading towards the parking lot. Is the parking lot our jurisdiction? I mean, this, uh, there are probably other teens that can take care of that thing, right? It looked pretty bad. Mr. Sampler, where's your where's your stepdaughter? You you must know. I mean, you, What's why going are you on? sitting here? You're, that means you're, yeah, your daughter's you freaked somewhere. Is this your daughter? Did you like a whole bunch? Terry says, like, of course I'm freaked out. I'm trying not to be freaked out. I've been playing a character this whole time you've seen me. I'm trying to get into well, character. Stop. I'm just trying to think of the calmest person I ever met, this piece of shit guy named Barry Oak, who was just very zen, very calm, very cool. That's where I'm trying to be and not freak out about the fact that my stepdaughter is getting taken away. But no, 
Okay, fuck it. Let's get out of character. Ha, 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 fuck! Okay, all right, let's go get her. Um, okay, uh, everybody follow me. It's going to find Terry, or Scary, Scary. It's going it's to going find to Scary? scary. Why? Because if, if you wounded it, or at least it thinks it's been wounded, it's going to head back to wherever probably it's taking Talk while we run. my daughter. Talk yeah, while I, am, we run. I am. I'm running. <laughs> so, so, right, I start running. I tie I've my got, laces. I start going my after Bugs the Bugs Bunny. The, my feet go, <laughs> <laughs> and I run in place for a second and then take off like a shot. So now, um, like a JJ Abrams movie, you can give us the exposition as we're running after yes. this. Thing. He goes, Get in. My car. Wait, shit. I don't have a car. I can't touch anything. All right, we're just going to jog, everybody. Actually, do any of you have a car? I got a car. Okay. Step oh, inside. Yeah, the he's pussy not like mobile. In corporeal. Yeah, he's not corporeal. But, yeah, won't he just get left behind when the car takes off? <laughs> yeah, he will. <laughs> no. Well, just, I mean, fine. it's fine. He can just follow us. We no, it's, go, it's fine. He'll follow go. you eventually. But yeah, he goes, okay, let's get in the car. And he tries to get into the pussy wagon, but then he realizes his hand goes through the truck and then his feet go through and goes, God damn it. All right, we'll just follow follow that mound of dirt to its destination. And that's where you're going to find Scary. Scary will be in a pod. Just make sure you get her away and then you can kill this thing. Okay. They, hey. Thanks. I'm going to be right after you. Okay. And, and he starts jogging as your car pulls out. I jump into the pussy wagon. What was Scary wearing today? Did she have, oh, yeah, she had like a scrunchie on. I'm going to cast Locate Object, which allows me to detect where an object... I guess we're just following the thing, though, so I don't need to do You can also do that. No, that's cool. Well, yeah, we might get there faster. I produce a forked twig, which is the component <laughs> I need for this, which is I just take a fork from the cafeteria and break two of the tines off, so it's a forked twig now. Cute. And then I say, Scary scrunchie! As long as it's within 1,000 feet of me, I know the direction it's in and the direction it's going. It's definitely not within 1,000 feet of you. As we get closer, maybe, because we're following the oh, yeah, yeah, the sure, sure, sure. money thing right okay, now. Okay, that's right? great. Because like, sometimes Scary wears her hair down, sometimes it's a scrunchie, but like, she doesn't always wear a scrunchie. So, like, why so I'm just pretty sure own? she had a scrunchie on today. Normally, but I don't pay attention to like, all those kind of details, but I thought it was a cute scrunchie. and had like, little skulls okay, on just, it. I was like, right. that seems a little extra, but you know, it's kind of her thing. So, you know, I was like, good for you. All right. As you drive, the pussy wagon in and out of traffic. Does somebody want to roll animal handling to see how dexterously oh, you're I mean, Taylor's driving? I'm definitely driving. Animal handling. I'm hanging out the window screaming, emergency, emergency. Does that like nine give us any advantage of like cars moving out of the way? No. no. <laughs> you just all anybody hears is a teen screaming as his friend driving a car that says pussy wagon on the back is zooming in between traffic. So any opinions that people around you had about teenagers have just been completely verified and validated. I shout, Taylor, turn up the music. And then I sink my phone to the Bluetooth system and play a looping car police siren sound effect. The Bluetooth device cannot be connected while you're moving. Ah, oh, no! Hit the, hit the brakes real quick so I can uh, get into the settings. I slam on the brakes. God. <laughs> what happens with a nine? So, uh, with a nine, you definitely, like, sideswipe a car. You take some of the bright yellow paint off the side of the pussy wagon as you hit a poor pedestrian's minivan. Oh, no! That was our car. It's funny because I was just imagining the pedestrian's minivan, so the guy, like, parked it and he's across the street and he's, like, getting a coffee and he comes out and he sees it. He's like, ah, my minivan! Van, but I'm a pedestrian because I'm on foot. Otherwise, I would be in the right. Minivan. Those are two different words. Yeah. You're right. You're totally right. Yeah, he's walking to his car. Yeah, yeah. And he, <laughs> the kid's screaming, emergency, 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 emergency. And he's like, again? <laughs> yeah. I just love it. Like, we were like, oh, this season's going to be like, we'll have the Nissan Quest. I know, our I car is going to be a pussy wagon. It's going to be a pussy <laughs> wagon, <laughs> tragically. But I mean, very teenage. So the, this season's called Pussy Wagon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is the Pussy Wagon arc. <laughs> <laughs> the Pussy Wagon, the phrase is probably trademark. So it just has to be <laughs> Dungeon Dread Daddy's colon. Pussy. <laughs> Without uh, the you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you find yourself heading in a direction that is beginning to feel a little familiar to you. It's kind of near the mall, towards the mall, towards the place you've hung out a lot. And then as you get to within a thousand feet of it, normal, you get a ping in your brain immediately that <laughs> no. says, the scrunchie is at Sonic. <gasps> the place you have never been, the interior of the Sonic restaurant chain with Sonic the Hedgehog's turgid penis, sort of acting as a North Star. <laughs> Lighting your way to your best friend, Scary Marlow. There is a shortcut you could potentially take that might get you there quicker than Yeah, it's the... called through the front door with the truck. <laughs> Have you guys seen Blues Brothers? <laughs> it's going to try to go north. You know of a shortcut, potentially, that could take you, like, to the east. You know, uh, shortcuts only teens know around town. I don't know. I'm just trying no, to give I you an opportunity no, to make a choice it. to do something reckless to get there quicker. Okay, we but we if do you don't that. want to do What's that, What's the shortcut? Fun. What is the it? Monster's like, are we gonna make the monster's going as the Bugs Bunnies. We need to uh, go a different direction. What's the shortcut? Is it like a jump? Is it like No, it's like a shitty alleyway that people use for their trash. And, like, half the time you take it, it's fine because people haven't put their trash out but on trash day there's a bunch of dumpsters and stuff so that Norm, you don't see until you get you're a goody two shoes away. who likes to mow lawn what day is trash day trash day is every other wednesday roll a dice 
Was Damn, is it this sucks. Wednesday or last Wednesday? What's the other? It's a ten, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Take the shortcut. We got get there. We gotta it's go. It's a ten, so it's a differently Wednesday. So I have rolled to see whether or not today is trash day. Are you going to take that shortcut? Yes, we're taking the shortcut. Okay, I'm going to act like the passenger in a rally car. Oh yeah, yeah. And fucking speak directions ahead. I pulled up the GPS. Okay. And I know the turns coming down this alley. I can see like which alleyways are like houses. So I can guess like oh, there's probably going to be some fucking trash cans on the right side here because there's a lot of houses. Whereas the left side, according to the the fucking satellite view is a bunch of fences. So they probably like point is like, can I roll to see if I can like you know be my rally driver help navigate? Yeah, go ahead and roll. Roll. Yeah, we perception. were in a car for a while together. Perception or investigation. There's a factory that makes cool jumps in this alley, and their trash is cool jumps. So there right. might be some cool jumps. <laughs> All right, Taylor. Alley. Looks like we're looks like we're running together again, buddy. <laughs> I, I'm just ignoring normal right behind us. Me and Taylor having this driving moment. Normal takes a d6 of psychic damage from the plot. Just you and me, buddy. Up. Taylor, we're in, <laughs> we're in this again, man. We're in a car again. We're gonna do it. We're gonna save our friend. I got 19. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so the 19, you know. Self-left turn, two. Right no, hard, right number turn. Number two, left turn, <laughs> Roger. Number four, right turn, Roger. So, yeah, watch out for the road. <laughs> That's not helpful. You got to give a number based on what the severity of the turn is. The normal, road clear is the, the communication th barrier. Clear the communication. <laughs> Only efficient communication, normal. Uh, all right, I'm sorry. <laughs> all right, so with a 19, you do all the things you just said. <laughs> but also, you know before you make the turn that it is trash day, but with a 19, you also know that there is a sick jump that could potentially get you over the entire alley worth of trash, potentially wow. at the, at, I mean, it's only like two or three restaurants, so it's like three dumpsters. You could potentially jump three dumpsters if you went really fast, I, but you know, you only, it's only like two or three restaurants you can jump <laughs> yeah. over. Yeah, you're, you're gonna jump a Buca de Beppo in two Fridays. Oh, oh no. We're gonna clip that neon B on top of the Buca de Beppo. <laughs> So, yeah, do you want to take this crazy risky jump down the alley or do you want to take the normal path and show up a little bit behind the monster? Hey, guys, it's uh, like... This is just like that poem. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, it wasn't that funny. Yes. It was very funny. I'm taking the jump. I'm taking the jump, okay. obviously. Hey, Taylor, give me a J. Give me a U. Give me an M. Give me a P. Jump. Gun roll ammo handling. <laughs> Damn, dude. I'm afraid I do We'll out. see how you react to it normal when you land. drenched in sweat from how hard he's bombing in the backseat. 14. All right. So with a 14, you jump the Buca de Beppo in the first Fridays. Uh, it's just the restaurants now. It's not the dumpsters anymore. I've decided it's the restaurants. They have little pop-up restaurants in this one alley on Wednesday, on trash day. They go, hey, do you want some like Buca de Beppo from like a food tent? From this dumpster? So Buca de yeah. Beppo's not sandwiched between two Fridays. No, two no. Fridays it's are it's right Buca de Beppo and then two Fridays next to Watch each out, other. it's Lady in the Tramp Day at Buca de Beppo. There's a ton of dogs sharing spaghetti. Down there. We can't oh, run over. no. Those dogs. They're in love. So you perfectly lay and between two dogs as they're about to start kissing each other. You don't kill either dogs. It's okay. Uh, Humvee length strand of spaghetti. Yeah, yeah. It was a really long. They make it just for the dogs to really keep the sexual tension as long as it could possibly be. It takes them about 20 minutes to You're get to right. the middle. That is the sexiest scene in all of Disney animation. <laughs> I thought you were just going to say well, in cinema. And, it's that and Nala doing the eyes. But yeah, so anyway, you so you land, you come down like halfway into the tent of the Fridays and you like collapse the tent. You don't hit anybody. You destroy the romance between these two dogs. They end up getting divorced. Forced. Oh. <laughs> but the front tires <laughs> land kind of hard. Because nobody's in there, right? Yeah. Nobody eats on Friday. Nobody eats on Friday. It doesn't matter. No, um, it would have worked out. You're a tramp and I'm a lady. <laughs> Not on a Wednesday, they don't. Nice. The car is damaged now. Okay. It's going to move a little bit slower, but you managed to get to the Sonic just before the baddie does. What are you going to do? I want to blow through the front door of the Sonic. We should just blow With through the, the front With the car? Door. Yeah. I'm a fucking old person in a farmer's market style, dog. I mean, like most people in the passenger seat, I can't really stop you. So it's, you know. <laughs> yes, that's what you want to do. Go for also, it. Also, yeah, and the I bouncer, the bouncer's going to stop us, uh, but he can't stop a truck. That's true. As Taylor's doing this, Normal's preparing to safely exit the vehicle. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead and roll animal handling one more time. Lincoln unlocks the ladybird locks and gets ready, indeed, if he needs to. Nine. Okay, so with the nine... You crash into the front door of the Sonic. It's the glass doors of the metal frames. You manage to smash through, but the doors hold. They don't fall over. And so the pussy wagon just sort of, whoosh, and the glass shatters everywhere and stuff. But you're not inside the Sonic right now. You've just like, oh, you but know. The glass tower. We can run through the open yeah, yeah, glass you, you doors. You can run through the open glass doors. But it's going to take you a second to All right, to guys, we're here. Emergency, emergency. And I start running into the Sonic. As the manager of the Sonic comes out of his office, having heard the cacophony behind you, the grumble of the doodler monster going through the street gets louder and louder, and it is basically caught up to you now. 
the bouncer goes, whoa, whoa, what the fuck? I'm calling the cops. And he begins to like move for his phone or something as you begin to stream into the Have any of you seen like a high school girl? Like she's got like kind of a cool outfit and she likes poetry. She's hard on the outside, but she's she's actually really nice. Where? Where? Where is she? She's this way. Oh, okay. I, I just watched, watched him following, following my, my normal. My Normal's been telling sense. you for the past 10 minutes and you've been completely ignoring him. <laughs> and the manager who's calling the cops, I want to try and bluff him. Be like, cool it, man. I am the cops. Uh, okay. Yeah, roll, now, roll deception with disadvantage. Three kids in a pussy wagon. These are definitely the cops. Eight plus two, ten. He goes, I literally remember the last time you were here. You tried to I'm convince me you're And wind, now you're trying to convince I'm me you're a cop. Your life's now, getting harder and, now, and worse. And now. What? As he's working through that, I'm going to take this opportunity to wind up and kick this adult in the nards. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. Roll and attack. 17. Wow. Okay, so you successfully oh kick him in the nards. He drops to his knees, tears running down his face, and he is going to be, for now, incapacitated. So you all follow normal as normal follows the vibe of scary scrunchy. Wait, can Taylor take the phone not to, I mean, you probably won't have him call, but, you know, take the phone from him. Yeah, I'm going to whip it out and then just, like, break it over my knee and be like, take that, nerd. <laughs> <laughs> okay cool that's what you get for not letting me in last time oh, no. so an so entire fa- uh, several, several uh <laughs> tables worth of adults and at least one sonic mascot still bouncing chili dogs on its dong turn and see you do this as do multitude of security cameras but yes you have done that you've now shattered this poor man's uh <laughs> poor cell phone link link before he we go a car into his restaurant and he kicked him <laughs> the balls <laughs> the common nerd everybody at the sonic problem. puts their hands up as if they are about to get robbed including sonic link before we go we need to take out the security camera footage but like let's just Keep what? that in mind. No, I'm following normal. Okay. So you follow normal. The doodler creature, you could hear it beneath you, but you're neck and neck with it. So you run and you follow it towards what you can see is a large, it's like an octagonal cage with like chain link fence and stuff. And within the cage, you see a bunch of like broken arcade cabinets. There's a gate at the front of this octagonal cage that's got a lock on it. Like a UFC <laughs> thing? Oh, I guess. Because there's a bunch of like broken arcade machines inside this octagon, you can tell like, oh, this is just where they put the shit that doesn't work. It's kind of like an old storage room. Is the gate all the way up to the ceiling? Or no, it is not. And we see scary in there? No, there are so many arcade machines, you can't get clear line of sight to like all the way through the octagon, but normal can definitely tell that scary is in there somewhere. I go for an uncharted style boosty nice. to boost link up over. Uh, link, call it, how uh, are you, buddy? Sure, we do it, but we do it much closer to Army of Two and I. And I <laughs> God damn it with the army of two references, you piece of shit. <laughs> I step on your head. And yeah, and I'm already like 6'3", so I'm already like halfway there on this fence. So like, yeah, I just like, I You probably over. could have climbed over yourself. I just yeah. really wanted to oh, help yeah, yeah. after not getting the help in the car. I mean, you know, or acrobatics, yeah. Acrobatics or athletics? Or athletics, it doesn't matter, either one. 16 plus 3. 16 plus 3, great. Whoa. As okay. I push you over, I go, it's just me and you, buddy. Yeah, like just like old times. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so as you crest over the top of the fence, you get a glimpse as the doodler creature unburrows next to a glowing blue egg pod thing that seems to have scary within it. It's got like a translucent front. She's got like a matrixy like umbilical cord thing going into her or like mouth. Like the X-Files movie Metal. when he finds, when he finds uh, Scully. 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 Yeah, kind of like that. So you leap over, and then as you're coming down, you see the doodler creature transform itself into an identical pod with an identical scary inside of it. And then you hit the ground, and your line of sight to scary is broken, but you can tell that the other creature has doodled itself into being an identical-looking pod thing. But I can't tell if it was to the left or right of it. Why don't you uh, roll? I got a nine. So you saw, but you can't remember. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, no. You hit the ground. There's a lot of things going on in your teenage brain, and you can't exactly remember which one was which. From this side, I'll just say you can open the door pretty easily for everybody. Oh, hey, it was unlocked. I just opened the door for that. <laughs> it, was, it was like a deadbolt lock. <laughs> so you all can basically head into the octagon, and there is a open area in the middle where there's sort of a circle of arcade machines with one gap open. And in the center of that, there's a hole in the ground and then two identical scary pods. Hey, so, so one of these is the monster, one of them scary. I, it's I that saw, one. And are, I point with full confidence because once you are within a thousand feet, the spell known as locate object can locate a specific object known to you, which is scary scrunchy. Okay, so we're going to say there's scary A and scary B. You point at scary A who has the scrunchy and you know that that is the person who has the scrunchy. Mm-hmm. Scary B is the other one in the other pod and it does not have the scrunchy. Both of the pods pop open and coughing and hacking and reacting the way that Scary would, I guess, which is up to Beth. They emerge from these pods on all fours and then both slowly kind of try to get to their feet. (sighs) Scary! 
Holy moly, are you all right? Yeah, what did I miss? You got a lot. <laughs> Don't look, you a, remember? There's another one of you. The look or over there. <sighs> yeah, what did I miss? <laughs> we, we, well, there you were got abducted by an alien, and that's the alien. So which, we got to get you out of here. We probably got to. Which like, one's the which one's the alien thing? I don't know what we do. Which one's the alien? Do a little one. Don't whatever. I'm you, the real one. You're the real one. Whatever you do, don't take off that scrunchie. That's the only way we can tell you two apart right now. No, I'm the real one. Says the one without the scrunchie. Scary B. I'm trying to tip over an arcade machine to crush Scary B. Wait, no. Wait, I, okay, <laughs> roll strength, Jack. Or I'm athletics. Gonna, I'm going to fight him. What? Wait, okay, but calm now down, we're, Taylor. Roll opposed athletics. Nine plus one, ten. Uh, Eighteen plus three, you fucking maniac. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you successfully stop him Sorry, from- Sorry, I'm just hyped up after driving a truck to the we front see, door of a Sonic. I, was I saw it transform right in front of me. I should know, but for some reason I forget. So yeah. we just <laughs> gotta- no, I, I'm telling you, th this is the real scary. I've been sensing mm -hmm. and locating the scrunchie for the last 10 minutes in the back of the car, but yeah, you guys yeah. aren't paying attention because you're having so much fun with each other in the front seat. Nobody listens to me. Well, okay. Yeah, um, losers, like anybody would try to steal this look. Normal steps in front of scary A. And I was like, this is the real scary, guys. That's uh, okay. what I've been saying. Because she's got That's the scrunchie. That's what I'm saying, too. I don't know who this other person is. It's the doodler eyes thing. It's a, it's yeah. A Doodler. I'm not the doodler. I'm just like a cool goth. What? You were just underground, though. Well, like, you mean underground, like, how? No, you were, like, moving yet? like, like a like Underground, like, cool or, like, hitting? Oh, man. Okay, but, I mean, Norm says we know the one's A. I mean, I guess, do we have to do anything to this one? We can just leave it here, right? Or no? I mean, we... we're supposed to, like, stop this stuff from happening. I think that's yeah. in the job description. Where's Terry Jr.? She can fix all of this, probably. <laughs> that's definitely. <laughs> Wait, you Terry, she said something nice about Terry Jr.? Yeah, you can't be the real Scary, yeah, you hate... actually, she would never say anything nice about fucking Terry. Uh, yeah, okay, normal's right. It's Terry. It's Scary A. So, this championship edition Pac-Man machine ain't gonna move itself. <laughs> it pains me to ask where, but I do think that he would uh, help things a little bit. So you hear the, <laughs> and then a uh, very tired, even though he's in corporeal form of Terry Jr. enters the back room and goes like, okay, I'm here, I'm here. And both scaries go, oh. <laughs> hey, baby girl, how you doing? Daddy's home. I Not mean, really? stepdad's home. And Terry's home. Have you figured out which one's the real we one? We have. Yeah. We ha I'm pretty sure it's this one with the scrunchie, because that was like cast a spell to find the scrunchie, and there's another one with the scrunchie on, right? Yes, you saw me. I was the real. That doesn't mean jack shit. The doodler could have, like, stolen the scrunchie. We were following it, like, when it wasn't underground. So, like, that would imply that normal scary was, like, going underground, which, T like, she Terry can't do. Terry's doubling over, still tired. He's like, no, 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 no. Uh, she's right. Uh, it could have been after I got here. You said you're using a spell to locate the scrunchie? Yeah, that's the thing I said. There's a chance it sensed it and then switched scrunchies with the real Terry. All right, well, then I guess I'll have to cast Zone of Truth. Okay. okay. Yeah, bitch. I cast Zone of Truth, which creates a magical zone oh, that guards no. against the deception okay. in a 15 foot radius centered on a point within range. Till the spell ends, a creature that enters that spell's area for the first time on a turn or starts its turn there must make a charisma saving throw. On a failed save, a creature can't speak a deliberate lie while in the late radius. Make the first one for scrunchy scary and the second one for non scrunchy scary. Okay. That's a 15 for scrunchy scary. So scrunchy scary passes. Non scrunchy scary got a sixteen. Okay, so, yeah. so you both pass. Damn. We both pass. I got a five, so I have to. I got fourteen. You got a fourteen, and Link got a five. Yeah. Link, do you like Taylor more than me? What? <laughs> no. <laughs> Answer the question. Uh, no, I just had a lot of fun with him recently, but we haven't hung out as much. I'm sure if we hung out more, we could oh, like. Oh, thank God. Okay, okay let's maybe get back a to little this. bit, guys. <gasps> but this is because just right now, I don't know. I'm like a dog. Oh I think. Oh my God! I just, but I just I was like nice to you first. That's a big. I know. I just like whoever I hung out with first more, but I don't know. No, he's cooler than you. Oh shit! <gasps> Look, it's just. All right, I want to turn this spell off. Like okay. <laughs> don't ask questions if you don't want to know the answer, dude. Do, do you also have to save for it normal? I don't know. It doesn't say. Yeah, it's a zone of truth, isn't it? Yeah, it's a zone. You're in the zone. I got a six. Well, All right. you, so you also have to you tell like the, the truth. Most. You like me or Taylor more? I like Scary the most because you guys are not as cool as she is. She just well, seems yeah. like she's really independent. I like admire that about her. That's cool. I like none of you. Actually, it's going to deeply depend on like whether or not you make the right choice here. <laughs> I'm going to have a Terry roll as well. So is the idea Terry that, Jr. failed. So is the idea that when the doodler like kidnapped scary there's a chance that they might have taken her scrunchie you know, it was in the moment that they in the moment like literally as the thing came out as link was heaving over the fence that second where the creature was out of his sight it could have grabbed it could have grabbed the scrunchie and swapped it i think visually it yeah, almost like it was could have like, but did it <laughs> no wait a second if it grabbed the scrunchie then there's two scrunchies both scaries turn out your pockets okay and the scary with the scrunchie turns out her pockets and it's empty because she has the scrunchie already Scary B, if you will, mm -hmm. turns out her pockets and a scrunchie comes out. <gasps> 
So she's got two scrunchies. So yeah, I guess you could say the one with the scrunchie is the real one. Yeah, that's what I am saying, because I think you're not the real one. I think you probably took the scrunchie and then you put it in your pocket and there it is. Ask me anything about anything and well, I'll, I'll tell you. I don't know. What did you do last night? Um, well, we don't know what she did last night. <laughs> no, no, we hung. And I whispered like last night she hung out with us at Taylor's room and then they had last a fight. night I hung out with you guys at Taylor's. Oh, yeah, oh, wait, wait, no, oh, that's what I did last night. Wait, I know exactly what to ask. What happened in my room the moment you sat on the bed? Less than you wish, champ. <laughs> <laughs> Take Damn. a D6 of psychic damage, Taylor. Wait, what does that mean, though? Less than what? I don't know. She's trying to be edgy for no reason. Well, I am edgy. Terry Jr. says, look, this thing, whatever it is, it's got her memories. So you're not going to be able to figure out which one's the real one and which one's the fake one by asking it things that the real scary knows. That's well, why she was able to act so normal in my class. Can we well, get like an we're x-ray machine? Yeah. You know, like from like health mates, you know, that <laughs> the Uber for health, for health that you have in the future. Yeah, you can get on-demand <laughs> MRIs, CT scans, <laughs> blood well, work. If you get above a 17 on a raw D20 roll, they I will can say tell so much just from a drop of blood these days. They don't even yeah, need a full bottle comes of back. blood. Only you need a one drop of blood <laughs> to tell who the real scary is. A raw is. 17. I got Never 15. say goodbye got too soon. I want to say for the record that when Beth does her impression of Elizabeth Holmes, she does the Godfather. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and and just That's because in the TED Talk, she's holding out like the vial. Oh, but it just looks like a... <laughs> <laughs> You do treat me with such disrespect when I take a drop of your blood. Invest. <laughs> okay, so what did you roll? 15 trying to call the help. Ooh, mates. you were really close. Uh, yeah, Theranos Sorry. did come back, but she it's was still alive. Sur- it's a, it's surge a surge right. pricing. We can't afford these scans. <laughs> yeah, not can't. without insurance. <laughs> Terry says, like, emotionally, it might not always react the same way because it's trying to emulate what it knows from memories rather than actually having the same emotional state as Terry. So, so let me ask something real quick. Uh, do you love me? No. No. Okay, I have no, that didn't help at all. Man, that I, must I, hurt either way. I know, I, yeah, I so swung too hard. I swung too hard. I always do that. That's my but wait, bad. Okay, but you do. So which one of you does? Does what? Does love what? your stepdad. <laughs> love your stepdad. You believe that Terry is lying and trying to persuade No, scary. I believe that the real yes. scary is lying because the real scary does love. Okay, he, then why don't you think through the real scary? Then why loves. don't you roll persuade to get the honest answer out of scary? And then you can roll opposed as scary with a charisma saving throw. I got a 17. I got a 12. Did you add your saving throw like modifier? No. And I feel like you get advantage because this is your whole deal <laughs> is not talking about your feelings. Oh, I plus one. So 13. Oh, wow. But then I got a natural 20. God. <sighs> All right. How do either scary react in that situation then? Um, what was the question? Which one of you does actually love Mr. Stampler here? You must love your dad. So like, you know, tell the truth. <laughs> well, I just don't. I and then scary A is like. I definitely don't like him. Well, that's okay. You don't have to like everything. And Terry's like, yeah, that's, that's, fine. that's fine. That makes two of us, kid. <laughs> scary <laughs> me is like, I'm I don't so like him. I don't love him either. Why is this everybody is trying to make nowhere. me love people? Like, this that's is... not like, oh, ooh, ooh, Terry. Yes. Scratch it. I'm trying to give you a code here. <gasps> okay. What does that mean? What does scratch like? Well, like, is this, and I remember the. I know the... what this means. Oh, what does that mean, Scary, eh? It's what do you do when your arm itches? You scratch it? I guess. Well, joke? unless that's like. He wrote that. It was on a note on his desk, right? It was on Terry <gasps> Jr.'s desk yeah, at Daddy's. It was, yeah, yeah. That can't be the answer to it. It was like a riddle or something, right? Yeah, it's a riddle about the doodler. And we'll get into that in a second. But yeah, you remember that. I mean, if I was to follow my answer to that, that I would just kill one of you right now. You would what? kill me? I would kill one of you if we were following that. Well, which one logic. would you? I mean, just hypothetically. What? I, I don't want to kill either of them. These are, one of them is my stepdaughter, and yeah. I love them so much, even though she doesn't care about me at all. And when I look at her, oh, I see myself does. when I was a kid because I didn't love my stepdad. And by the time, I realized I did. It was I was actually pretty early. We had a really long, nice life together, but I just get scared that the same thing's gonna fucking happen. Uh, what and would you it, think what I'm would... scared too? Because I'm not. I'm not scared. I'm I'm not I'm not scared. I Okay, I... that's fine. You're not scared. That's fine. That's fine. Sure. Okay. What would make you happiest? That's actually all I care about. What would be the thing that made you happiest? Would it be um, me not being around? Because I could do that if it meant leaving you and your and your mom and you would be happier. Scary B says, um, actually that sounds like pretty metal. And scary A says, Well, I just want things to be the way that they were before. Like when it was just me and mom, you know, like us, like against the world being total metal and fighting and stuff like that. And nobody gave a a shit about, nobody gave a shit about other people. It was just us. So Terry sort of looks down and like nods solemnly and he goes, well, I mean, more than likely you're going to get your wish anyway. 
even if I do make it out of here, which I probably won't. So you mean you're leaving? Because that would be boss. Yeah. That's scary B. We're yeah. killing B, right? We're killing yeah, B, we're right? Killing, so I think we, well. Guys, I don't know. Scary's got a pretty hard show. Oh, I wouldn't be surprised. Do, how hardcore mean do we think Scary really is? That's the question here. The, this is my only thing, though. Is like, if you were a doodler that was trying to pretend to be scary, like, it'd be pretty ballsy to be that mean, because, like, that's pretty obvious, then. That's, like... I don't know. That's like not. Oh. Shit, you're right. I'm getting second guessing. Are myself. we trying to kill? What are we going to do with them, though? You want to kill one of us? Go ahead. I don't care. I just. We don't really have the ability to. Yeah, my thought was just to tip this Pac-Man arcade machine onto one of you. But, you know, it's kind of heavy. Why don't you just like tip it on yourselves if you're so unsure? If you can't tell that it's really me, then why don't you just tip it on yourselves? Huh? Man, Scary B seems pretty hardcore. I mean, like she's willing to kill us. So, I mean, that might be her. Maybe I'm hardcore and you think that. That's the real scary, but I wasn't always like that. That's true. So it, you got to know that like deep down, I'm a person inside, even though sometimes I act like I'm like hard and that I've got real feelings. And I, 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 I used to be like a soccer forward and I like pink sometimes and I'm just a kid. Yeah, now I'm definitely leaning towards B as the real one. I cast Guiding Bolt at Scary B. What? Scary oh. B. Okay, so what does Guiding Bolt do? A flash of light streaks towards a character within range, makes you a ranged spell attack against the target. On a hit, the target takes 46 radiant damage, and the next roll made against this target before what? the end of your next turn has advantage thanks to the mystical dim light glittering on the target until then. Okay, so make a ranged attack roll. Can I try to stop him? <laughs> no, you just did it. I feel like we've established that you pay no attention to normal most of the time. <laughs> so I think he just, I think he just did. To this I think you see a bolt come by and then you turn and go, oh, normal's there. Like, I so did 19 damage. What? No, 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 wait, wait, wait. What'd you roll to hit? Roll. Oh, I see. Okay. Ah, uh, I got a nine. Scary B's hair blows back as the guiding bolt like singes part of her cheek with radiant sunshiny energy, the antithesis of Scary Marlow. It singes her cheek, but otherwise does not hurt non-scrunchy Scary B. How does Scary, yeah, B, how does scary react? B react to that? We're not on good terms. It's <laughs> you! <laughs> it's you! <laughs> <laughs> We're not on good terms? You think Scary would say that? She'd be I saying guess, the most meanest thing ever. So come on! I want you she to find... Have the, she didn't she, have the scrunchy! Scary nope. is like, just because I can't think of something mean to say doesn't mean I'm not actually thinking it. I mean, I mean are you defending your other Are you defending, defending, your, other are you defending the other Scary? I don't understand what's going on! <laughs> Okay, with deciding which one we think it is, but it's a pretty wild situation to possibly kill the wrong scary normal. I'm definitely more friends with Taylor now. Are you kidding me? Everybody wait here. I got an idea. And then I run out to the kitchen and I come back with a knife and I say like a magic spell over the knife. <laughs> so also just the kitchen, the Sonics, they see a young teen walk in <laughs> while they're making chicken fingers. Underwear. Yeah, and they just grab a knife and walk out. So I say a bunch of words like kind of spelly, Experatus Dimitus Bladium Ex Scorpio. And I like shake the knife a lot. I've just charmed this knife so that it can stab through Terry. I just turned level three. There's a level three spell called planar weapon. And you can enchant a weapon to attack someone that's on the same plane as you, but they're in another plane. It's called an astral blade. Terry, this is the only way. And I go to stab no! Terry. And I would like to roll deception yes. on both scaries. I'm going to try to do a King Midas here. Can, yes, you, can you, I roll deception to help? Like I'm actually terrified. Yes. Can I roll to see if one of them knows what is actually going yes, on? Yes, you'll be rolling inside as both scary okay. to see if he's telling the truth or not. So are you going to help out on this deception or are you just like, you cool? Well, it sounds like you guys have this well in hand. I got a 16. I got 13. Okay, what did the scaries get? Scary A got a 12 and scary B got a 1. Wow, okay, so both scaries fully believe. Although shit, I just, I failed my zone of truth roll. Does that mean I can't do this? <laughs> it means that as you're going to do it, you have to go, this is a bluff. <laughs> oh, no, fuck. <laughs> Wait, you failed your zone of truth roll, too. <laughs> yeah. I forgot. So as I'm about to stab, right as I get over my, I say, don't worry, this won't work. This is a both trick. Sca <laughs> both scary say, wait. Wait. Scary A says, I don't. I mean, don't do it. Scary B says, can I do it? Help me tip this Pac-Man machine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't think she wants to kill her dad. Like, I got to yeah, believe that let's about just, my friend. Let's just and punch then I her. Let's just just punch her. Don't kill her, though. Just punch her. Here, I punch B. All right, roll your attack. <laughs> it's an 18. Wow. Real haymaker. That blows Damn. through Scary's uh, AC. So go ahead and deal damage. 
Just two. Okay, Thanks. just like in Fight Club, you hit Scary B in the ear. Damn. I went for like the stomach. Oh, you went for the stomach. Yeah, okay. Like, oh. That's that's Jesus way Christ. less sad. I've had menstrual cramps worse than. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so in this moment, the two of you who ate Doodler's it. That oh, was no. that was oh. normal and Link, correct? Uh oh. Yeah. So yeah. a second or two after the menstrual cramp comment, both of you double over in agonizing pain. You feel there's something inside of your stomach. Is this is what that is? Is this a menstrual cramp? <laughs> that's, that's what it feels like. You feel several somethings in your stomach, and then you feel like, oh no, you're about to vomit. You feel oh. it's coming up. So maybe there was some truth to what Lincoln was saying. Something's coming up. But then as you feel it come up, it doesn't feel like vomit. It feels like little tapping on the inside of your, your esophagus that's getting higher and higher. Just tapping, 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 tapping. And then you retch. And as you retch, your mouth opens. And normal, a very small version of normal is in your mouth holding your jaw open. And Link, a very small version of Link is holding your jaw open. And, and both of them swing out of your jaws and start climbing onto your faces and trying to like gouge at your eyes and shit like that. I, 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 I grab it. Go ahead and roll. I feel like this is potentially <laughs> some army of darkness yeah. shit. I love this. Yeah, it's very army of darkness. Try to uh, grab it with, uh, let's say, I want to, hand. As this is happening, I want to very carefully keep an eye on both scaries to see how they react. Okay. I'd like to imagine Taylor's got, like, the Pac-Man machine almost tipped over, but it's like <laughs> you're pointing it like a gun between two people. Like, <laughs> <laughs> which one do I crush? I rolled a two. Okay, so it just reaches one of its tiny fingers into your eye and just <laughs> right through the juice of your oh my God. eyeball. Like, like, it just feels like you got like a thing stuck in your eye. It's not permanent damage or whatever, but it fucking hurts you. Oh, ah, man. you it feels like, like when you scratch your cornea when you're trying to put a contact exactly. in. Exactly. Yeah, yeah okay. you scratch your cornea, but it's a little link. What does little link say as he scratches your cornea? Uh, Sorry. <laughs> 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 okay, Taylor, what did you roll for insight to look at the two scaries? The two scaries. You're not going to believe this. 11 plus the two, 13. So with a 13, you are certain that you were seeing a true response from one of them, but not from the other. Both of them are not lying to you, nor are both telling the truth about the way they're reacting to this moment. Scary B is like, Norm, give me the knife. And then scary A is like, oh my, oh my God, I need to, I live in like goes to get the little guy off Link. I'm going to eat my little guy. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to try to crush him in my molars. Hell yeah. Great. What would we roll for that, do we think? Strength. Masticulation. Strength makes sense. Is he still in my mouth or is he also on my eyeball? Do I need to like, pick him off? He kind of tried to swing out of your mouth and like start scrambling up your thing, but like basically his foot is still inside. So if you oh, want to chomp is an down, easy one. This let's is say an easy dexterity, one. you're trying to do no, no, it really no, no, quick. No, 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 this is an easy one. You're eating a metaphorical representation of another person. That's a religion. <laughs> what? <laughs> give, me a, give me a dexterity roll, see if you can chomp down before his foot clears your okay. palate. I got a 17. Wow. Okay. So yeah, you successfully crouched down on the ankle of Tiny Normal. What does Tiny Normal do, say like, in response? He's like, oh, ow, ow, my little adorable leg. Oh, no. Sorry, mine's not as funny as Matt's. I can't top. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what does he taste like? Normal is disgusted by how he tastes. He's yes. like, I need oh, to bathe more. This is gross. Can I roll perception on Scary A's response like to being concerned? Because I figure... She's like running at me. We'll just keep scariest roll. So you roll. And if you got higher than whatever scary roll, I'll tell you if you're what you're two again. You no idea. It could be a true thing. No, could I, be, think, could I be think B is the real one. No, I know that's my concern. I think A is probably the real one, but I'm I don't think I have so. a definitely not against Beth being like, I'm gonna trick them. And we I just don't want to kill one of them to find out which one's the real I one. I give scary B the knife. <gasps> scary B stabs scary A. <gasps> what what to well, be that fair, doesn't to be fair, fair what, what, what <laughs> we expected. <laughs> to be fair, what exactly the move we expected. Go ahead and roll an attack. I rolled a nine. Guys, Link, normal. If this happens to me, you step aside and you let me fight myself to the death. What does Scary A <laughs> do that causes Scary B to miss with the knife lunge? I think she just does a cool, like, step back, like, soccer move. Oh, that's fun. Playing on her soccer. So, yeah, the blades have been drawn. Scary B has just tried to kill Scary A. I never would have stabbed him. I was always going to stab her. You were always going to, okay, okay. That's really stressing right. me out. Uh, well, this is what you wanted, Normal. Should we just wait for the next stab to see if this goes down? <laughs> hey, if you guys want to wait for the next stab, I'm down. Well, that's you. You have the knife. Um, <laughs> I run into the kitchen. <laughs> Oh, uh, I step I step in between the two of them. Okay. I'm like, you're gonna have to stab me <laughs> to stab her. I give Link the knife. 
What? Um, all right, let's just all calm down. <laughs> Hold the knife. Wait, you giving me the knife? Why? No, here. If you're Make the, real the scary, right decision. What? Make the right decision. Uh, I turn around. Link. See, she's not even doing anything. She's not even admitting that all this feels awful, having your friends judge you, and she's not even saying how much it hurts. Okay, look, all right, all right. Scary B had the scrunchie in her pocket. The monsters came out of our stomachs when we attacked Scary B, as if they were trying to protect their monster queen. So it's got to be Scary B. I don't think we're going to get to real certainty here unless we just fucking go for it, right? Yeah, I was going to stab. I was going to stab one of them. Do it, Link. Just do it. Terry Jr. has turned away and is like covering his eyes like, I, I can't watch this. I'm going to stab Scary B very gently. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is Scary B going to try to dodge this or is Scary B going to just like, okay. Both me and Little League are both saying sorry no, think, as I'm plunging the knife in. I think scary. she would try to dodge it. Roll your acrobatics and Matt, you roll opposed attack roll. I got an eight. I got 10. All right. What's the least sad part you're going to stab her in? I stab her like in the side. Ow. Where all the vital organs no, are? Like, like this. Like, like not like, not like, like in her hip. In her hip. my appendix. Yeah, there we go. The hip. Okay. So you stab you in the hip and it's like, it sticks in the, in the hip bone and it's just like sticking out of the side of scary bee now. Now it's very easy Whoa, to tell them apart. Metal. So it's, there's a bone there. Yeah. yeah. There's a bone here. All right. Is there a bone in the other one? I pull it out. I put it back <laughs> in scary A. <laughs> 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 scary a rolls a four so yeah so scary also gets hit I yeah got nine so yeah ow what the fuck <laughs> is there a bone on that one what do you prove by doing this roll perception if it's all one there should bones? be all tentacles have bones. <laughs> so that's a 18 wow with an 18 okay you can definitely feel that the bone here feels a little bit different than the bone from the first one. You That's can tell. Different, wait, explain, wait, 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 explain wait, different. Wait, wait. I, I hoist my hip hop. I'm like, stab me to do a comparison. <laughs> I go, I just do I go no, was a great arm. idea. I go swing to normal. I go, I would never do that to you, but I stab myself in the hip. Oh, <laughs> oh why okay. won't you let me be useful? <laughs> <laughs> the feeling you get from stabbing yourself in the hip, actually roll constitution to see if you can focus on the feeling of it through the pain. Oh. <laughs> No, I got minus one. So that's a 15. Okay, with a 15, you can just barely, through the pain, <laughs> feel the sensation of the knife going into your hip, it hitting bone. It felt just like the bone of Scary B. See? <gasps> and I want fish tipping over the Pac-Man machine on the Scary A. I haven't played soccer in a while. My bones aren't as, like, fucking cool Guys, as they I think it's just, this, this right. bone yeah. feels like so the go bone ahead, go, ahead, go ahead and roll strength, see if you can tip the thing over. This is the idea that worked. <laughs> Well, he said the bones feel the same. What are we supposed to do? Unless Anthony wants to trick us. 13 plus 1, 14. Does anybody want to try to help Taylor push this thing over? Because otherwise, a 13 is not going to do it. I help Taylor push the Pac-Man over on Scary A. Go ahead and roll strength. Uh, or okay. athletics. I got a 7. Moral support. Can I roll to, as Scary B to help? We all help. Then okay, also, you're, you were also doing all this while a small version of you was yeah. clawing at your eye. Uh, hey, 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 little Link, chill down for a second and help out. It says no. How does it say no? Uh, he says no. <laughs> okay, great. So no, he used to claw at you. Uh, what did you get? I rolled a 17. Okay, so with a 17, Scary B successfully moves over as normal is also sort of exerting his full strength, which is not enough to tip this arcade cabinet over and... The second Scary uh, holds on it, you get just enough strength that you need to tip it over onto Scary A. And Scary A is crushed by it, uh, knocked to the ground, but her, you know, her top half is still looking at it, sort of an inverse Wizard of Oz sort of situation. <laughs> her whole body, but not her feet. <laughs> yeah, 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 you only crush her feet. <laughs> and she goes, no, the source of my power. <laughs> so you crush Scary A halfway under this thing while tiny normals dangling from normal's mouth and a tiny link is still clawing at his eye. And the Scary that's crushed underneath furiously- Cries like a high school girl because it's real scary. No, no, <laughs> it goes- <laughs> And it begins to just turn back into its gelatinous tentacled form, and it begins to melt in front of you. As it dies, it extends a single tentacle toward Scary B, the real Scary, 
and goes, You could never trust them. They never loved you just like no one will ever love you because you don't deserve it. I know what's in your head and you deserve all the pain. You'll... I cut the tentacle with a knife. You cut the tentacle off and with that, some more juice spurts out of it and it falls dead. Wow, that was easy, guys. You did a great job. Wow, that didn't take any time at all. <laughs> <laughs> scary. I just hung scary. I'm so sorry about your hip here. I do lay on hands. Sure, you get a little bit of healing. Hey, and I'm sorry, too, about trying to kill you. I just want to say that was my bad. Are you mad at me? I guess I didn't make it easy, but I couldn't be weak like that oh. other scary was. Like, you know, saying all that soft stuff. No, no. How are it's you, good to scary? See you guys. How are you doing? That was crazy for us, but like I can only imagine what it'd be like on that side. I'm fine. In fact, I'm like really metal now. So oh. <laughs> Taylor wants to strut up and goes, I knew it was you the whole time. And I hold out for a predator high five. Welcome back to the team. I do the predator high five. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Terry Jr. goes, oh, I'm so glad. Oh, I had no idea which one it was. I was really hoping it was Wait, A because really? she said all those sweet things. <laughs> uh, but it, I should have known it was it was you. But I I'm, wasn't I'm so going to stab you. Yeah. No, I, I wanted to stab her. I that's why I asked if I could do it. No, you're you're right. Yeah, you. I mean, you and you did. You did stab her. So no, okay, that's that's cool. So I can feel myself sort of losing connection, so to speak. So can you hear me now? Yeah. <laughs> connection. Um, Where was there ever a connection? Uh, hey, scary. You want to maybe give him a fucking break for one second? Jeez. I'm sorry. I'm just a little jumpy right now. But like, come on. You don't have to apologize for her. She's right. Like you said, when you were both being honest, that the thing you want the most is for me to not be around. So that's fine. That I get it. I so, didn't mean that. Like really but i meant it but i mean yeah yeah it's like i don't have a lot of time here's what you need to know now that you and i have whatever this is this is something right this is a moment right don't answer that i don't want you to say no but like i think it is so i'm pretty sure that the door at the bottom of daddy's hq i think you can go through that and i think you can come to this world and rescue us whenever you want to I think at the same time and this is your choice you don't have to do this you can just come and you can come get us and then we can try to fix things on our own and you can go back to being a kid and you and I never have to talk again and you can just live the rest of your life happy and that'll be fine. In addition to wanting to save us in this other world, you've heard about something called Code Purple. Yeah. You have all the items that you need to enact Code Purple. I can see that, Taylor, you've got an empty memory syringe, probably from your dad. You've got that amplifier. You've got the ring of swapping and you've got the dial with the realms attached to it. That's like that everything. Amp you, thing? Yeah, the amp thing. That's everything you need for Code Purple. If you want to know what Code Purple is, I can give you basically a map. I can give you a map and a journal. If you study those, I know you'll find out what it is on your study. own. Study. Oh, okay. That's like homework. If I tell, if I just tell you, your brain might react poorly, That's and you have a job. one of why, four why chance of dying. Why do parents never just tell? Oh, you gotta just tell us. We're because right you have to learn for yourself. If I just tell you, you won't learn, and you have a Where one in four chance of dying. Where do you learn from? Who? Oh, if only there's older people who do things already that could teach us these things. It's only there's one it's of those me, around. It's me, and I'm giving you this textbook for it, the journal and the no, map. I get it though, because like when I found out the Santa Claus no, wasn't real, like on, man? I was like, it, I wasn't ready for it. You know, I think I would have been better if I had discovered that on my own. Wait, Santa isn't real. <laughs> I'm sorry, yes, but that's all I wanted to say. If you want to enact Code Purple, it can save the world, but at a cost. You could just leave it to us adults to figure it out, but I honestly think we fucked things up so bad last time that, I don't know, maybe it should be your responsibility. Our, I mean, our generation tried to fix things and we couldn't, and maybe this is, uh, you know. What, what's the cost, or is that something else we have to go learn? The cost is a lot of pain for a, a lot of people, Damn. but it might be the only way to survive the doodler. Mm. But do you want these things? I guess, All right, so since I'm gonna put you couldn't, We'll step up. Okay. <gasps> oh, that hurts, but okay. Under my desk, taped to the bottom of my desk at Daddy's HQ, you'll find what you need, uh, the journal and the map. This might be it. I hope I see you soon. Or also, I hope maybe I don't. Maybe you don't need to come to see me. I just want you to be safe. I want you to be happy. Tell your mother that I love her very much, and I will stay out of your life for good. Hey, guys, real quick. And then I grab... Taylor and uh, Lincoln. I was like, yeah. Let's give these two some privacy. Maybe they'll like, I don't know, like maybe she doesn't want to see nice stuff with like me. Let her look tough in front of us. Like, let's just go. Oh. We got to go check out. We got yeah, to go apologize to everyone too. for ruining the restaurant. We'll be right back. Yeah, that. And then we run away. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so go away. Or okay. And he fades away. <laughs> or, or fuck. Fuck. Days whisked away, but is there something more to say? You know that.
no one knows us better than ourselves You should tell myself it'll be alright Pretty lies, let me sleep at night I know that no one knows me better than myself And I know I'll get this right It's just a matter of time till we make it out of Dungeons and Daddies is Matt Arnold as Lincoln Lee Wilson, Anthony Birch as our DM, Will Campos as Normal Oak, Beth May as Scary Marlowe, and myself, Freddie Wong, as Taylor Swift. Our theme song is On My Way by Maxton Waller. Brian Fernandez is our content producer. Ashley Nicola is our community manager. Esther Ellis is our lead editor. Travis Reeves provides additional editing, and Robin Rapp is our transcriber. Some of the fine patrons who support our show are Haley Cooley, JoJo, AJ Vogel, Salix, Sean McGinnis, Greg Sanford, Jonathan Jordan, Anthony Brown, Rob Carter, Luca Padrino, Sean Morell, William Hammett, Jax M., Ryan Boudreau, Matthew Goddard, Dustin Ray, Zachary M. French, Morrissey, Milo Meadsong, and Faye Van Bruegel. You can directly support this show and get ad-free episodes at patreon.com slash dungeonsanddads starting at just $5 a month. There are hours and hours of bonus content. There's bonus shows. There's bonus one-shots. There's live shows. There's edutainment rap albums. You can find it all. Check it out. Patreon.com slash dungeonsanddads. That list grows each day. Episode 3 of Sons and Sons Ability, the finale of our Regency Romance one-shot, is coming out later this week. You don't want to miss that one. That drops. We do live listens. We do all kinds of fun stuff. Check it out. Patreon.com slash Dungeons and Dads. It's also not too late to get in on the Father's Day sale. We had a bunch of new items that we put up onto our merch store. Head on over to store.dungeonsanddaddies.com to see what we got. We got a new sticker pack. We got some Teeny the Teen School merch. A Teen High official faculty mug. A urology shirt. These are the kinds of things that you're going to want to put on your body in public. Check it out at store.dungeonsanddaddies.com. Our website is DungeonsAndDaddies.com. Our Twitter is Dungeons and Dads. Our subreddit is Dungeons and Daddies. Our next episode is coming at you Tuesday, July 12th. We will see you then. Scary A, Scary B, please, impromptu, compose a short poem about how you feel about your dad. Maybe the meanest improv prompt I've ever heard in my entire <laughs> so life. Awful. Maybe the single most in brutal. Character.